Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back, welcome back, Ninja Muhammad with another video worth things about some smartphone, the bad size, the cons, the reasons why you shouldn't buy the Xiaomi Mi A3. Disclaimer, please make sure to watch the part one, my full review where I'm gonna discuss and show you my reasons why would you buy the Mi A3, the pros. So please don't just watch this video, watch both of them. If you still decide to buy it on the end, use my promo links below to purchase it. That's the best way to support me. So the cons, Ninjas, Mi A3. Stock camera app has crappy video stability, no EIS whatsoever. Same like with the Mi A1 and Mi A2 in the past. So I don't know why Xiaomi is doing this. Is this some kind of uh, a big tough challenge with the Android Pure Stock experience? I don't know. No super fast charger in the box, you have to purchase it separately. But again, this is a minor con uh, for picky picky users. I'm not that picky, but I'm gonna just mention it because I see that some people are getting just super super picky. Uh, again, price tag is just $190, remember that. But it would be cool maybe if they add the fast charger support with the most expensive version, which is 128 gigs. Maybe that would be cool if they added there. Back cover is attracting a lot of smudges and fingerprints, so use the case all the time. Hybrid SIM slot only. Yes, hybrid SIM slot only. No full screen options. So yes, uh, many, many different apps can't run on the full screen because there's no option in display mode to adjust uh, this option. And also there's no option in the screen display mode, no full uh, off screen navigations. So you can't use the off screen navigations options, neither gestures, like, uh, like I said here, even with the Mi A2, we didn't have this option. With the Redmi Note series, you, you do have this option with the MIUI on the default. Smartphone, uh, this smartphone itself, Mi A3, does throttle, and my CPU throttling test showed that. Though not a panic level of throttle, still hope they fix this with the future updates. I repeat again, this is not something to panic about, it's not like over throttling or something like that, but I am a bit uh, disappointed. Also, the 3.5 mm headphone jack volume output uh, with the YouTube, can, if it's, is it a bug or something? I don't know, but the volume loudness is not that great from 1 to 10 giving it 7, but what it is very odd, strange, when you're using the FM radio with the headphone jack, loudness in compared to the YouTube is 3 times louder. So Ninjas, I don't know what happened here, maybe it's a software bug or so, I hope Xiaomi uh, improves it. Uh, because the sound speakers of this device are the best for the price tag, display the best for the price tag, uh, design and uh, design itself is also the best uh, for the price tag. Performance, not the best, not the best. You do have the Lenovo Z6 uh, Youth Edition, which is faster uh, in the gaming and of course uh, in the UI with the opening apps or so and so on. I mean, just this is it. I hope you enjoyed in this small short video test. Uh, share it, uh, like it, uh, and if you want to leave a comment uh, below, what do you like and what you don't like? Again, disclaimer, and I have a, do have a big uh, critic uh, to the Android authorities review. That dude who done the review that he's confusing as hack ninjas. I think he, you know, I don't know what what's. What's happening with that dude? He, just, he didn't investigate at all this, or he was just bland, uh, I don't know, incorrect, bland, wrong, bro. I don't want to offend him or something like that, but the review is completely a mess. Completely a mess. So check it out, Ninjas. Even their review, their comment section is filled with people who said that the review is a garbage. And indeed it is, Ninjas. Honestly, they kind of killed completely this Mi A3 with no like huge reasons uh, and I don't get it why they done it. I don't know why they got it, why they done it. Anyway, wish you all the best. Uh, like I said here, with even with these all these cons, I still advise you, but like I said here, I am not sure when this device will uh, receive updates regarding video stability. For me, so far, this is the biggest con of this device that the video shakiness, it's so, uh, it's unbearable, it's just unbearable. If you stay, if you stay still, that's fine. But if you're holding it, running it, walking a bit there, it's gonna be super shaky. So Redmi Note 8 is a better choice for the camera lovers regarding video test. Camera-wise, regarding the pictures, not sure yet. We'll have to test it all together, ninjas. Anyway, my salam and see you till next time. Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from? Chicka chicka ching 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 China! That is the Gearbest.com and Banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!